All right, so this one's only harder because it's a circle. So my advice whenever you see something about a circle is look for radii. All right. That's the easiest circle thing to deal with. Then I have a bisector, which means two equal parts. And again, I got to think what's getting bisected. It's an angle. So I should be seeing two equal angles. Let's deal with the angle first because it should be the easiest. D, C, B right there. So where are the two parts of DCB? Right here and right there. So that's what I've got going on. There's my pair of angles. A is the center, so I'm looking for radii. Remember, radii goes from the center to the outside. So here's a radius, here's a radius. Those two things have to be equal to each other. All right, so there's two radii. Then, is there vertical angles a reflexive property? Well, I'm not sure, all right, but... I do see this, this triangle here, and then I do see this triangle here. Okay, and when I see those two triangles, what I hopefully notice is that there's a reflexive property there. And there's a reflexive property right there. So I add that in, and then I think, all right, well, what do I got? All right, so what do I have? There's no right angle. So that's out. And that gets kicked out almost every time. I'm looking, I've got a pair of sides. I've got a second pair of sides. I've got a pair of angles. I'm not seeing three pairs of sides, only two pair of sides. And then I'm only seeing one pair. Angle in middle. Okay, I'm going to do this in uh, purple. Check that in purple. All right. So my sides are here and here. The middle's right there. That's not the angle I have. The angle's not in the middle. So they're not congruent. All right, because I eliminated everything. All right. So now I'm going to say this at the end here. In this thing, I purposely made a lot of them not be congruent so that you got used to looking at all five things. When you get into 9-4, they're going to be congruent way more often than they're not congruent because we're getting closer to actually writing our own proofs, and that's super important to understand.